How's it going everyone? My name's Gabe and welcome back to another Minecraft video. A couple weeks ago I asked would you like to see how my thumbnails are made and 255 of you guys voted 91% yes and 9 said no. So a total of 233 people said they wanted to see this video. So if this video doesn't get 233 views I am quitting YouTube. Just kidding. But anyway speaking of numbers on the right side of the screen it says subscribers instead of money and I have 5,765 subscribers at the time of recording this video. So from this video and on out I will be updating that subscriber count on the right side of the screen to see how many subscribers I get between videos. But anyways, if you guys do enjoy this video of me making my thumbnail, then don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Also join the Discord if you guys want any help with your Minecraft tutorials. I know a couple people have joined already. So here is the Discord link on the screen. And yeah, let's get right into uh, making my thumbnail. So after I record a video, the first thing I do is go edit my video. So let me actually get out of Minecraft really quick. Once I'm done recording, I will get out of Minecraft. So I minimize that and I pull up my Adobe Premiere, which is what I edit in. And then I go to my file, which is Minecraft long form video. This is what the file is called. And this right here is my most recent video I was working on. I think it's how to make a chess user interface. Um, how to make a chest UI for Minecraft Bedrock. The video is already edited right here. I just gotta make a thumbnail to put next to it. This was my last thumbnail. If you guys can see this on the screen, this is my last thumbnail. But yeah, the first thing I do is go through my video to see what kind of frame I want to be as a thumbnail. And my I caught this frame right here. Let me see if I could find it again. Right here, I think this would be a good thumbnail because it shows what's inside the chest and what the video is kind of about. So I would click this button right here, export frame. You click it, you click OK, and then that frame or screenshot goes to my desktop right here, as you can see it. And then I'll just put it like right here. And also, I think the thumbnail is missing something else like the chest. So I'm probably going to get a video of me looking at the chest really quick. So let me go do that. So uh, go back to Minecraft, load this back up. And I'm just going to build like a nice little chest area to make it look good. Let me get a chest. Let me get some spruce slabs maybe spruce stairs and this is what it pretty much looked like it was like this all right i'll put the chest right here and it pretty much looked like that so now i'm going to push f1 to get rid of everything on my screen and i'm going to get in position of what i think the thumbnail should look like so i'm going to go like this probably just put it right there in the middle and then let me go put that into adobe premiere really quick okay so that intro i just recorded is now in my adobe premiere and i will pretty much just go to the end of the of the video and i'll drag this in here and as you can see there's me talking right here so that's the intro of my video but I i'm gonna go to the end of it where i was gonna take that screenshot and i'm gonna go here and i'm gonna just hit the same button that little screenshot button and click okay and that guy's out of minecraft and then it'll be to my desktop. So I have two of these photos to edit and put into my Adobe Photoshop. Now I can exit out Premiere and I don't need to save this. Then I go into Adobe Photoshop and click my Minecraft thumbnails. And again, this was the last thumbnail I made right here. So all I do is just, I just get rid of it. Just get rid of everything besides the text and the arrow. I always keep an arrow in my video thumbnails and always these two texts, the one with the white text and the one with the yellow. But now I'm gonna grab these two screenshots I have and I'm gonna drag and drop them into the, the program. And I just click this button and then click it again. And now they're both in there. Usually they look like this. See how dark and uh, weird that looks like they look kind of dark. And well, this one you can't really tell, but this one, it looks really dark. So I have this thing on the right side that's hue and saturation that automatically changes the color of the images. So when I drag that above it, you can see it gets lighter and it's a lot, a lot brighter, which is nice. But the first thing I'm going to do with this one, make sure these things are on top. So the first thing I'm going to do with this is crop this really quick. So I'm going to grab this, going to put that there. So right now I'm getting rid of these borders so that I'm able to zoom in without having the you know the desktop programs on the bottom of the screen so i'm going to use this and zoom in oh that was a little too much of a zoom i'm just going to try to draw oh that looks pretty good actually so now i'm going to determine if the chest should be on the left side of the screen or the right side if you don't know people read left to right so i kind of want it to be on the left side and then showing off what's in the chest so let me like zoom out of this really quick i'm still going to zoom in on this image really quick make it kind of big like that and let me zoom in to check how it looks so I'd say that looks pretty good. And then I'm gonna get this second image, put it on top, and I'm gonna crop out this, this little chest user interface. I'm gonna crop this out. So I'm gonna zoom in. I'm gonna grab this tool. I'm gonna go around the edges and just crop this out. Boom, there you go. And then I zoom out and then I will right click this and then it says layer via copy. So I just click that and then it just copies that layer. Now I can delete the image and it'll just show this uh, user interface, which is nice. 
and I'm probably gonna make it a little bit bigger. And I might actually put this on the left side instead. So it's the first thing that people see is how to make this interface. So, so yeah, a lot of things change. Like I always think something looks good and then I eventually change it because it doesn't look good or it's not how I want it. So I'm gonna do something like this. I'm wondering if I can make the chest a little bit smaller because I feel like the chest thing is too big. So let me make this a little bit smaller. Kind of like that. There you go. Kind of like that. I think it's pretty good. Now I'm gonna get the text on the screen and move these to the top. How to make, and then I'm gonna do custom chest UI. I'm gonna move this to the right so you can actually read it. I'm gonna make this maybe a little bit bigger, smaller, I'm not sure. I'll just have to check what this looks like at the end. And then this yellow text, I always move it to the center of the white text because that it just looks good. At least in my opinion, it looks good. And then this chest, I think I could make it a little bit smaller or maybe I'll just make a, actually, I think smaller looks good so that it's kind of zooming from a far angle. And then since it's smaller, I have this arrow that I always have in my videos and I will zoom this arrow bigger but make it face the other way like this. So then it's pointing from the chest. This arrow, I literally use it in all of my thumbnails because it like directs the people's attention to what they want to see. So what this arrow is kind of saying is like, oh, this chest has all this stuff inside of it. So you should check this video out. I know this arrow is kind of crooked. I might just get a straight arrow for this one, but I think the curved arrow looks pretty nice. And literally that is all I do to make a thumbnail. So that is a thumbnail, how to make custom chest UI. Let me export this real quick. I'm going to name it custom chest, put it to my desktop, save it. There we go. And now this is my favorite part. There's a trick for all my YouTubers who want to test out their thumbnails. You search up thumbnail preview and you go to testmythumbnails.com. I think this is what it is. Then you click upload and then you grab that thumbnail that you just created, which mine was called, what is mine called? custom chest you open it and then you can actually put it onto a thing that looks like the YouTube homepage so as you can see my video kind of sticks out I made the chest UI bigger so that people on mobile can see it and I think you could click this button yeah so it shows up like this on a mobile device this is what it would look like and you also don't want anything to be behind the numbers right here because it'll just get blocked but yeah honestly I think that's a pretty solid thumbnail and then I obviously have to upload the video and you know see how the thumbnail does if I go to my last video and the thumbnail you can see it has 10.2k impressions and 6.8 click through rate or CTR meaning out of these 10,000 people only 6.8% click this thumbnail which is pretty high 6 points pretty high compared to my other videos my other videos get between 2 and 3 like if I go to this one this video has 48,000 impressions meaning 48,000 people seen it on their recommended page or suggested videos and only 3.5 clicked it but it does have 2.3 thousand views which is pretty nice but yeah that is the final product of my thumbnail but yeah that is a video if you guys did enjoy don't get to leave a like and subscribe to the channel again if you guys want to join the discord the link will be in the description and also thank you so much for these comments these comments mean the world to me i appreciate every one of you guys who leaves a great comment on my videos so if you want to be in the next video with a nice positive comment leave them down below but anyways my name is gabe and i'm out peace